We actually now find out from these simulations that the time it took for a Titanic to collide with the iceberg, the glancing blow, was 6.3 seconds. Turns out you can count on your fingers just how long it took to seal the fate of the Titanic. 6.3 seconds. That's just one interesting detail from a new documentary premiering tonight on National Geographic. Titanic, the digital resurrection, follows a team of scientists who analyzed the first ever 3D replica of the ship. It was all put together by a deep sea mapping company. It took 750,000 still images and recorded 4,000 footage, 4K footage of the wreckage on the ocean floor. Scientists and experts then spent the past two years analyzing the replica, and a documentary film crew followed them on their journey. In this next clip, the team finds an open steam valve on the 3D model, which likely means that the ship's engineers kept the power going until the very end, allowing people on the Titanic to transmit SOS for rescue. The flap is seen in the open position right now. Why is that important? Well, this is a line that was taking the remaining steam from the boiler rooms to the emergency dynamos. They provided life to the ship, the lighting, the heating, running the pumps. All right, joining us now is Jennifer Hooper. She's a metal metallurgist featured in that documentary, Titanic, The Digital Resurrection. Um, so that's a big reveal, Jennifer, that we were just showing in that clip, that the engineers in the boiler room actually worked heroically to keep the power on as long as possible, even as the Titanic sank, and because it allowed lights to remain on so people could see their way out, allowed those SOS signals to go out. They had to know they were going to die doing that job. Hi, Elizabeth. First of all, thank you for having me. Um, and yes, what we were able to, to see by looking at the scan is that the stern, the ship itself, was falling apart. It was chaotic. Uh, it was being torn to pieces. And we had evidence that there were engineers, there were people stoking those fires all the way up into the end to try to put the chaos at bay for those passengers and uh, people jumping into those lifeboats and those in the water. You also found, you just mentioned it, that it was falling apart. We all sort of think, most people who've seen the movie, James Cameron's movie on the Titanic, it showed it split, you know, kind of in two pieces. Um, yes, that's but right. It, it, right. It, it, it was actually it? violently torn apart as it sank. That's correct. And oftentimes we see it portrayed as the stern rising up and people think of it breaking it in two. But by looking at the scan and recreating, bringing those pieces back together that were on the debris field, we could actually piece together how the ship fell apart. And it was in many pieces. It was incredibly um, powerful forces that tore apart the back section or the stern of the ship. So it didn't rise up with its nose in the air like we've seen so depicted so many times? It did rise up because the water that was filling the bow started to sink the front of the ship. And so the stern began to rise up. And then eventually what happens is the stresses get so high that they start to hit limits of the strength of those materials. And what happened is the, the fracture of the ship began and then propagated through the, the entire ship and imploded the back of the ship. These two submersible, submersibles that gathered all these images, they're called Romeo and Juliet. I love the fact that you guys named them that. But they also show uh, all the personal effects that are scattered throughout the debris field. I mean, we have uh, watches, somebody's top hat, even unopened bottles of champagne. Yes, it's incredibly humbling when you see how vast that debris field is and the kinds of personal effects, you see pieces of the ship, parts of the grand staircase and things that many of us recognize from images or from, from the movie. All right, uh, Jennifer Hooper, thank you so much. There's, it's a brand new documentary. It premieres tonight on National Geographic. People are endlessly fascinated by the Titanic and what those folks went through. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.